Hello YouTube, this is Forever Everything, and we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to draw this wolf face. Okay, so first, what you're going to do, you're going to get a ruler, but since I don't have a ruler, I'm going to use one of these and measure it from the top, from the top here to the bottom of the screen. So you're going to make two perfect squares. You can make them um, six centimeters by six centimeters or something like that. Whatever size you want, as long as they're two perfect squares. That's one. And. The bent messed it up. And that's two. So once you've made two perfect squares, you're going to make two circles, small circles. Oops. You're going to make two small circles in the bottom square. Then, for the outline of the eye, you're going to do something sort of like this. I don't know why wolves have this, but it's just the way wolves are. If you look at a picture of their eyes, there's this thing. And you color it in. Now, you might be like, it's really difficult to do the same exact thing on both sides. Yes, I know, I do. I can't get it perfect either, but it should start looking like that. And you should do that on... I like to use a ruler just to make sure that they're at the same height. Then you go around. And then you go up, around. And then like that. And then you color it in. And for the eyes, like the pupil and stuff. If you look at a photo of a wolf, their eyes, like the pupil, I'm going to erase the guideline, the pupil is kind of like up here. I'm going to color that in. There. Then the, the, That's the eyes. After you do that, you're going to start with the nose. You're going to go maybe one th you're going to go in the middle right here, like, like one-third in the middle. Not really one-third, but you know. Like that. That's for the top part. Then the bottom part of the nose is going to go down and around. Like that. And it starts. And then you're going to do, from this line here, you're going to go down. And then right below it, you're going to go straight out like that. And you're going to do that on both sides, down, like horizontally, no, not horizontally, uh, uh, sideways, and then straight. Oops, I went a little too far. Then you're going to make a circle from both. And that's the nose. They don't have to be perfect. I can't make them perfect, but, you know, you're going to color them in. And I'll do details on the nose later. Oh, um, and you also need a line right here because they have a line. Once you've done that, you're going to make sort of a frowny face right under the nose. Like that. Most, like when you look at animals, they're, the way their mouths are shaped, it looks like they're smiling at you. But the wolf, it's just the part of the mouth. You're going to go here. And you're going to curve it up to there, like a little bit higher than the corner there. Then you're going to go do the same thing on the other side, up 
there we go they don't have to be perfect it's okay then you're gonna go to the corner of the mouth right here and you're gonna make sort of a heart shape like half of a heart for their lip the corner then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side half a heart and then go down once you've done that you're gonna go like there's the corner of the sad face you're gonna go smidge over and do that here is a close-up to what you should that what it should look like once you've done that you go to there's the half heart here you're gonna go to the end and not the end but like sort of close to the end and you're going to make a line that is slowly getting closer and closer like that and you're going to do that all the way like that once you've done that um, you're going to start with the ears like sort of with where the ears are you're going to make a larger rectangular-ish that way on both sides like that then you're gonna go down like that on both sides Try to take a guess of where this will go up to here. I know mine's not perfect, but who cares? It doesn't have to be perfect. Then you're gonna do like the side, the line of the head. You're gonna go right below the top square, and you're gonna come around and then down like that on both sides. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then this one's a little further, so I'll bring it a little closer. Sorry for the background noise. There are people uh, on the playground. You're going to go down. And then maybe it's the other part. Kind of round this part a little bit. There we go. Once you've done that, it will sort of look like a dog. And for the ears, you're going to go about this far. going to go down to the head. And go up and then go right here or a little one-third this way no one-fourth and then you're gonna make it to the top and round it down like that so that's what the ear should look like and you're gonna do the same thing for the other side And round the top not really pointy but rounded like I said <laughs> before there we go and it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see this one's skinnier than that one but it's okay now I want to do like a line for like the head you know like the fur the white and the gray and then I'm gonna go up here and then around Gonna curve it like that and then go back like that or something. No, hold on. I'm gonna go like this and then curve back around like that. Like that and then. What you're going to do is you're going to make tiny hairs on the top of the ear going all the way down, slowly getting longer and facing down more. So you're going to do tiny little hairs up here. And by the time, like once you get right here, you're going to go longer and start to turn facing down.
longer hair is down facing more down till down there hey, I'm gonna make this eye a little bigger there we go now you're gonna do the same thing on the other ear and then once you make it down to here you're gonna start making them longer and then point down a little bit more it's okay but not exactly the same doesn't have to be perfect there we go gonna darken here a little bit make it a little longer there we go and then you're gonna do the same thing but the other direction this way and then you can go longer and then you can make it like like that and then sort of go up and then go this way And these ones are a little too long, but it's cut. There we go. And then now you can erase the guidelines. Oops, I'll re recolor in there. Okay, after you do that, you're gonna recolor in here because kind of erased it, and then um, you can make in the ear shape. And then I like to do you don't have to do this part but you can I like to do like rounded here and then go up like this like that and then once you do that you're gonna have to draw for details if you want to add a lot more details you can make a ton of tiny lines like this all the way up and around and yeah, I'll do that, but I'll fast it up so you don't have to watch the long process. Here's a close-up of all the lines. Okay, we're not done yet. There's one or two more things we have to do. Now the ears, you can either keep them blank or add detail. I want to add detail. Now, wolves have hair in their ears to protect from cold so I'm just going to do this on both sides don't add too much pressure that was my spray thingies that makes the house smell good so ignore that Psst. okay go a little higher and then back down so then I have that and now for the nose nose I'm gonna do like kind of like a smaller bit of the top part but lower so that it gives the nose more of a 3d you could say then you can color in the top part light and then hold on color the nose really deep dark so then you can still see it in this line too and then you can color in a nose here darker than you colored the top but still lighter than the nose there and you're done you can add color if you want or do whatever you want with it but thanks for watching please leave a comment like and subscribe